If you've got human problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a human ain't one. The James Webb Space Telescope, often shortened to JWST, is a space telescope which conducts infrared astronomy. As the largest optical telescope in space, its high resolution and sensitivity allow it to view objects too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. This will enable investigations across many fields of astronomy and cosmology, such as observation of the first stars, the formation of the first galaxies, and detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. The following are all of the images the James Webb Space Telescope has captured circa 2023. 1. Titan has a nitrogen-rich atmosphere and rivers, lakes, and seas of hydrocarbons such as ethane and methane. This latter feature makes it unique in the solar system as the only other planetary body besides Earth to have these liquid environments, because it has dense clouds, we cannot see what lies beneath Titan's atmosphere in visible light. Webb's infrared vision has verified our hypothesis that Titan has a cloud-filled summer in its northern hemisphere. It also has bright and dark areas on its surface. The Keck Observatory also recently observed Titan's clouds and confirmed that the moon has seasonal weather, though scientific conclusions have not yet been peer-reviewed, according to the Webb Images site. NASA is planning to a 32-month mission to Titan with Dragonfly, which will launch in 2027 and observe the moon's environment up close. 2. When two galaxies get close, they begin to merge, like this scene Webb captured. This particular pairing, collectively called 2ZW96, is twisting and changing each galaxy, with the upper galaxy far more distorted than the lower one. A lit path appears to harness the two glowing blue galactic cores together. Thanks to Webb's infrared eyes, the near-infrared camera, NERCOM, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, these star-forming regions are greatly illuminated. The galaxy pair is about 500 million light-years from Earth, in the direction of the constellation Delphinus, close to the celestial equator. 3. Here is an image at the crux of the The Central Mystery Web is trying to solve, how and why did stars form? This view shows a zoomed-in image of two bright galaxies that may have existed 350 and 450 million years after the Big Bang, respectively, from top to bottom. One of them could be the source of the most distant starlight Earthlings have ever seen. Probably forming about 100 million years after the Big Bang, these primordial galaxies appear to be small, compact spheres or disks, compared to the expanded spiral of the Milky Way. This configuration is an indication of their early existence. Astrophysicists plan to study Webb spectrographs to confirm the distances of these galaxies and help us learn more about their stars. 4. Here is the light of a star still in formation, spreading out in a shape reminiscent of an hourglass. Before Webb's near infrared camera, NERCOM, cast its gaze on it, this protostar was concealed within the dark cloud L1527 in the Taurus star forming region. Astrophysicists hope to gain insight into the beginnings of a new star by analyzing data from such infrared sites. The actual young star is still hidden from view, inside the neck of the hourglass, an edge-on protoplanetary disk line across the middle of the hourglass neck. But the star's light unfurls on either side of the line, related, the most important discovery of 2022 is our best bet at finding extraterrestrial life, Space Telescope Science Institute Office of Public Outreach. 5. A team of Canadian astronomers, including experts from the Dunlap Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics in the University of Toronto have identified the most distant globular clusters ever discovered using the Webb Telescope's first deep field image of thousands of galaxies. These may contain the first and oldest stars in the universe. Looking at the first images from JWST and discovering old globular clusters around distant galaxies was an incredible moment dash one that wasn't possible with previous Hubble Space Telescope imaging, says Carthage G. Iyer. A postdoctoral researcher at the Dunlap Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics and CEO lead author of the study. The researchers say they could model the sparkles across a range of wavelengths to better understand their physical properties, like age and number of stars. 6. Where did thousands of stars go? When viewed through the James Webb Space Telescope's mid infrared instrument, Miri, the pillars of creation look downright eerie. Thick gas and dust dominate the image. While the dust layers evoke a ghostly hand, they are actually key to star formation. Dense clusters of gas and dust collapse under their own gravitational attraction. The heat they generate forms new stars. Because stars do not emit much mid-infrared light, they aren't visible in this view. Instead, they pop out in ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared detectors views, like the one in our next slide. The red background in this image depicts cooler, more diffuse dust. I in this mirror view, two types of stars do show up. At the end of the dusty pillars, stars recently eroded the material around them. They show up in red because their atmospheres are still shrouded in dust. Stars with blue tones indicate older age and have shed most of their gas and dust. Related, astronomers catch rare sight of incredibly massive stars formation. Space Telescope Science Institute Office of Public Outreach. 7. Located in a small region within the vast Eagle Nebula, 6,500 light years away, the pillars of creation look even more AWE inspiring through Webb's near infrared camera, NERCOM. Semi transparent gas and dust provide a nursery for new stars to be born, which are apparent as ruby red drops, often trimmed with eight diffraction spikes. 
Some brightly shining areas denote great masses within the pillars that are collapsing under their own gravity and heating up. The wavy lines along the edges of the pillars are ejections of nascent star matter, whose supersonic jets collide with dense clouds of gas and dust. Sometimes the reaction causes bow shocks, forming patterns of waves as a boat does in water. The pillars are only a few hundred thousand years old, and will continue forming for millions of years. No distant galaxies are visible, because a translucent layer of hydrogen atoms, molecules, and solid dust particles blankets the view. The stars in this portion of the nebula light up dust and further obscures the deeper universe. Webb's near infrared cameras will help researchers get a better understanding of millions of years of star formation. 8. This bright glow is two stars having a rendezvous, as they do every eight years. Ringed by 17 loops of gas and dust in orange pink rectangles with softened edges, the stellar pair gains a new dusty ring each time they meet. Wolf R08140, WR140, is the collective name of the duo, which has one rare Wolf Rayet type star. Only 600 of these short lived, hot furnaces have been discovered. This particular one may have already lost half its mass, setting the stage for new star formation. Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, specializes in picking out cooler objects like the carbon-rich dust of these two. 9. This is Galaxy Pair W191, an emerged image from Hubble Telescope's ultraviolet and visible light view and Webb's infrared vision. The box zooms in on a stretched red arc and a tiny red dot at at the core of the elliptical galaxy. Thanks to gravitational lensing, this more distant galaxy has been magnified and warped by the galaxy in the foreground, rendering it visible. Still, Webb is the only telescope able to identify this incredibly faint galaxy. 10. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory data harmonizes with Webb's infrared information in this image of the four galaxies within Stefan's quintet. A fifth galaxy, on the left, is photobombing the view. The new Webb image reveals brand new details of the results of these four galaxies interacting, including dramatic gas tails and star formation. As one of the galaxies zooms through the others at speeds of around 2 million miles per hour, IT generates a shock wave that heats gas to tens of millions of degrees. Chandra showcases this effect in light blue. Red, green, and blue colors in the image include infrared data not only from Webb, but from NASA's now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope. 11. Here is another instance of one of Webb's first. Images being married to another telescope's data to birth a richer picture. In this case, data from Webb and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory together depict the Cartwheel Galaxy. Its whimsical shape comes from a collision with a smaller galaxy, which is not shown in this image. When this smaller galaxy drove through the Cartwheel, the energetic combination set off star formation, which appears predominantly on an outer ring. X-rays shown in blue and purple represent superheated gas, individual exploded stars, and neutron stars and black holes yanking at companion stars. At the same time, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue comes from Webb's infrared view of the Cartwheel Galaxy, plus two smaller companion galaxies. Farther away are a host of other galaxies in multicolor. 12. If you want to see the bones of a galaxy, look no further. It's not time for Halloween yet, but get in the mood with this image of Spiral Galaxy IC 5332, revealed in its stark, sharp glory through Miri, Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Its gaze in the 5, 2, 28 nanometer wavelength range seems to show gray cobwebs in the shape of a spiral, according to the Webb Flick page. These delicate threads are gases swirled throughout the galaxy. Usually dust obscures these gas lanes, but a mid-infrared probe penetrates right through these particles, which are usually composed of either silicates or metals, and left by cooling or dead stars. This galaxy is over 29 million light years away, and it's about 66,000 light years across, making it a bit larger than the Milky Way. Sight in the mid infrared range is possible only because Miri can be cooled to near absolute zero, preventing the infrared radiation of the instrumentation itself from interfering with its readings. 13. Did you know that Neptune has faint rings? Humanity caught its first glimpse of the rings during the Voyager 2 spacecraft flyby in 1989. Both Voyager 2 and the Hubble Telescope collected our most iconic views of Neptune in visible light in breathtaking shades of blue dot but Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCOM, captured a view of the ice giant and its rings like never before, in wavelengths from 0 0.6 to 5. Microns Webb's camera also reveals faint dust bands around Neptune. The planet doesn't appear blue to Webb. That's because its methane-rich composition absorbs infrared wavelengths, so it appears darker overall. High-altitude methane ice clouds do pop out, lighter and brighter, because they reflect sunlight. Neptune is 30 times more distant from the sun than Earth is. It's so dim that if you were to land there in the middle of the day, you'd assume it was actually twilight. 14. As seen by the James Webb Space Telescope's NERCOM. Instrument, the interior of the Orion Nebula, 3. Million years old, looks like an oil painting. Located about 1,500 light-years from Earth, the nebula supports the numerous massive and hot young stars of the trapezium cluster, at the top right. Orion is the closest large star-forming region to Earth. The most outstanding star in this image is 02. Orionis A, in the Orion bar's dense wall of gas and dust, from the top left to the bottom right. 
Overall, the composite image from multiple filters depicts ionized gas, hydrocarbons, molecular gas, dust, and scattered starlight emissions. The entire nebula is about 24 light years across. 15. Arguably one of the most stunning nebulas, the Tarantula Nebula, 159,800 light years from Earth, has captured our gazes once more, thanks to Webb Telescope's near infrared camera, NERCOM, left, and mid infrared instrument, MIRI, right. The color contrasts between the two instruments reveals bright, hot clusters of massive young stars in blue through NERCOM and cooler, more ghostly gas through MIRI, as longer wavelengths of light pierce the dust clouds and reach MIRI's sight. Here you can see stars hidden in the dust of this stellar nursery. The single shining star in the nebula's cavity, with its light scattering and diffraction spikes, takes center stage through NERCOM, because the dust is less prominent. Stellar winds in the nebula, which stretches 931 light years across, have shaped the starlight into a form that reminds U.S. of a tarantula. 16. Webb has captured its first direct image of a planet outside of our solar system. Seen here as four images is a gas giant named HIP 65426b. It's 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter, and only 15 to 20 million years old, according to the Webb album page. Our own home is 4.5 billion years old by Comparison.Webb's NERCOM and MIRI instruments Depict the young gas giant at different wavelengths of infrared light. The white star is the location of the host star. Because Webb can use coronagraphs, tiny masks, to block ultra-bright starlight, we can see this planet. It was actually found in 2017 using the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. From space, Webb can see more of this planet than ground-based telescope. 17. This is just the center of M74, known as the Phantom Galaxy. The view highlights a dense star cluster at the core, using Webb's min infrared instrument, MIRI, the view, created by amateur artist and astronomer Judy Schmidt, also shows off a bounty of gas and dust in the galaxy's arms, which resemble octopus arms. Astronomers have called the galaxy a perfect spiral because of its symmetry. M74 lacks gas in the nuclear region at the center, clearing the way for a better view of the nuclear star cluster there. Webb will probe M74 at longer wavelengths to pinpoint star forming regions in the galaxies, accurately measure the masses and ages of star clusters, and gain insights into the nature of the small grains of dust drifting in interstellar space, according to the European Space Agency, ESA, another space agency that uses Webb. 18. Jupiter is a world of extremes, with mammoth storms, superfast winds, and unbelievably cold temperatures. Webb is capturing the stunning details of our solar system's largest planet with NERCOM's three specialized infrared filters. The longest wavelengths appear more red, and the shortest wavelengths look blue. Amateur artist and astronomer Judy Schmidt translated the Webb data into images. This picture is a composite from all the filters. The great red spot, Jupiter's hallmark storm that's larger than Earth, looks appears white here, because, like the clouds in the picture, IT is high altitude and reflects a lot of sunlight. You can see auroras stretching to high altitudes above the northern and southern poles. These are visible thanks to a redder filter dot related, the nuclear-powered aircraft that we'll use to explore Jupiter. 19. This image of the cartwheel and its companion galaxies is a composite from Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCOM, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which reveals details that are difficult to see in the individual images alone. This galaxy formed as the result of a high-speed collision that occurred about 400 million years ago. The cartwheel is composed of two rings, a bright inner ring and a colorful outer ring. Both rings expand outward from the center of the collision-like shockwaves however, despite the impact, much of the character of the large, spiral galaxy that existed before the collision remains, including its rotating arms. This leads to the spokes that inspired the name of the cartwheel galaxy, which are the bright red streaks seen between the inner and outer rings. These brilliant red hues, located not only throughout the cartwheel, but also the companion spiral galaxy at the top left, are caused by glowing, hydrocarbon-rich dust, related. 20. Derived from web data for the fangs, Physics at High Angular Resolution in Nearby Galaxies, Project, this stunner is M74, or NGC 628, a spiral galaxy 32. Million light years away. Webb's min infrared instrument, MIRI, captured the raw data, and amateur astronomer and artist Judy Schmidt worked the data into the intricate dust lanes that grace the spiral arms in the image. The project focuses on galaxies that are apparently face-on from our view on Earth, and one of its main goals is to solve the mystery of star formation. Schmidt, also found online under the pseudonym Gexilla, has been reworking the colors and images from large telescopes, including Hubble and Webb. Her work makes the faraway objects of deep space appear both vibrantly alive and mysterious. Related. 21. Thousands of galaxies flood this near infrared. Image of galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. High resolution. Imaging from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Combined with a natural effect known as gravitational lensing made this finely detailed image possible. First, focus on the galaxies responsible for the lensing, the bright white elliptical galaxy at the center of the image and smaller white galaxies throughout the image. Bound together by gravity in a galaxy cluster, they are bending the light from galaxies that appear in the vast distances behind them. 
The combined mass of the galaxies and dark matter act as a cosmic telescope, creating magnified, contorted, and sometimes mirrored images of individual galaxies. The galaxies in this scene that are farthest away the tiniest galaxies that are located well behind the cluster look nothing like the spiral and elliptical galaxies observed in the local universe. They are much clumpier and more irregular. Webb's highly detailed image may help researchers measure the ages and masses of star clusters within these distant galaxies. This might lead to more accurate models of galaxies that existed at Cosmic Spring, when galaxies were sprouting tiny buds of new growth, actively interacting and merging, and had yet to develop into larger spirals. Ultimately, Webb's upcoming observations will help astronomers better understand how galaxies form and grow in the early universe. 22. The left-hand image in a near-infrared, NERCOM image and the right-hand image is in mid-infrared, mirror image, dot this side-by-side -side comparison shows. Observations of the Southern Ring Nebula from NASA's Webb Telescope Instruments. This scene was created by a white dwarf star the remains of a star like our sun after it shed its outer layers and stopped burning fuel through nuclear fusion. Those outer layers now form the ejected shells all along this view. In the near-infrared camera, NERCOM, image, the white dwarf appears to the lower left of the bright, central star, partially hidden by a diffraction spike. The same star appears, but brighter, larger, and redder, in the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, image. This white dwarf star is cloaked in thick layers of dust, which make it appear larger. 23. An enormous mosaic of Stefan's quintet is the largest image to date from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, covering about one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It contains over 150 million pixels and is constructed from almost 1,000 separate image files. The visual grouping of five galaxies was captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCOM, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, dot with its powerful, infrared vision and extremely high spatial resolution, Webb shows never-before-seen details in this galaxy group. Sparkling clusters of millions of young stars and starburst regions of fresh star birth grace the image. Sweeping tails of gas, dust and stars are being pulled from several of the galaxies due to gravitational interactions. Most dramatically, Webb's MIRI instrument captures huge shock waves as one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, smashes through the cluster. These regions surrounding the central pair of galaxies are shown in the colors red and gold. 24. What looks much like craggy mountains on a moonlit evening is actually the edge of a nearby, young, star-forming region NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula. Captured in infrared light by the near-infrared camera, NERCOM, on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, this image reveals previously obscured areas of starbirth that called the Cosmic Cliffs, the region is actually the edge of a gigantic, gaseous cavity within NGC 3324, roughly 7,600 light-years away. The cavernous area has been carved from the nebula by the intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from extremely massive, hot, young stars located in the center of the bubble, above the area shown in this image. The high-energy radiation from these stars is sculpting the nebula's wall by slowly eroding it away. NERCOM with its crisp resolution and unparalleled sensitivity unveils hundreds of previously hidden stars and even numerous background galaxies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment below, like and subscribe turn on the notification bell.